Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are all good. Are you good? Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. You are a good little girl. If you can see little bits of white in my hair, it's basically the, you know, the yellow got to be glued hairspray. When you brush that out, I mean, it's great for holding your hair in a bun, but when you brush it out, it leaves like little white bits in your hair. And I am off for a blow dry um, this afternoon, so I don't want to wash my hair. So I've just literally chucked it in a claw clip, ready for it to get washed before my blow dry, which is very nice and very... Feels like a lovely little Friday activity to be doing, going for a blow dry. I feel like one of those mums who like goes and gets a blow dry on a Friday afternoon, ready for the weekend, which is honestly, I just aspire to be that that mum. So I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy this Friday afternoon blow dry. Um, so I've just got ready for that. I don't know what outfit I'm gonna wear today. Potentially this, potentially something else. I've actually just got all of my winter clothes out, which I usually keep like vacuum packed away in the summer because obviously like coats and knitwear take up a lot of space so I tend to put them away between seasons and I do the same with my summer clothes I need to go through the bag I know that I got rid of a lot last year I hope you're not eating that bag thank you very much um I know I got rid of quite a lot but I think I've got a few coats I've got this so I literally saw this on the top and grabbed it out let me show you I if I wear this today I'll be putting obviously a top underneath you could wear it like this for I'd wear it like this if I was going like on a night out with like a skirt and boots but obviously like to go for a blow dry in Newcastle city centre it's a bit much so if I wear this I'll put like a black top underneath or maybe a white top um, but this is such a gorgeous blazer. I got this from Zara about three years ago, maybe now. Two or three years. The quality is still gorgeous. It's like a wool blazer. I wish I had it in black. Um, so if anyone knows where I can get something similar to this in black, the shape of it is just so nice. It needs a bit of an iron, actually, because it's obviously been stuffed in storage. But... I just tried this on with my Levi 501 jeans and I'll probably just put some trainers on um, to casual it down a little bit. So this is option number one. Option number two, I will show you in a minute because I went to Zara and I also went to Primark the other day and I picked up a few little bits and bobs. So first up from Primark. Oh my God. You all know how much I love wearing blue. Um, this was literally £15. I got it in an extra large and it's not extra large. Like, I'll be honest. I'll try it on for you in a minute. Um, this to me is like a smaller or medium, but I guess the fit is probably for it to be smaller. It's not an oversized fit. So I just got the biggest size I can. This feels such beautiful quality, like a lot more than £15. I feel like in Zara, this would be very, very pricey. It also came in like six different colors i had navy dark gray light gray camel pink had so many colors um i just picked up the blue for now so i might actually wear this with these jeans and my blue goyard bag it's a lot of blue but you know i like a lot of blue um on the topic of my goyard bag by the way i feel like i'm just word vomiting right now but i had a few questions on instagram about how i got the goyard and where i went to get it um, so there's only, is there only two shops? No, there must be more than two, but the only two I'm aware of is the London shop and the Paris shop. I got my bag in the London one where they had all the colours available of the one I've got, which let me go and get it for you so I can show you. So this is mine. I got it in the London shop, like I said. I was very torn between this and like the maroon red one, which is also gorgeous, but... I love blue and honestly I get so much wear out of this. I feel like it does actually go with everything. It is my everyday chuck everything in bag. This is also the biggest size out of the two. So there's a PM and an SM I think. I went for the bigger one just because I knew I'd use this a lot for travel. So I'd want lots of room to chuck stuff in. And then again also for Jordan's bag pack which I think I put a picture on Instagram so that's how people had seen that. Um, for Jordan's 30th I got him in the backpack which is absolutely gorgeous I'll insert a picture oh no I shown you guys anyway didn't I I shown you when I was packing for uh, Mallorca so that's how you know about the backpack um, yeah I got Jordan the backpack for 
his 30th and again I got that in the London shop I told the story on that vlog but they didn't have any in stock and it's literally like the stock comes in and it flies out but then they had one backpack left and it was in the colour that I wanted so I was buzzing so that's where I got that but apparently the Paris shop is incredible as well um but yeah if that answers the question I hope it does but I might wear this with this they go perfect together I love that um and then also from Primark I picked up some dry shampoo the Primark dry shampoo is actually so good especially for brunette ladies like me where you don't want sorry Kelly is actually attacking this bag a great fit if you don't want to be able to see the white you know when the dry shampoo white comes in your hair this one for brunette hair is really really good and I also picked up another one which is for it's like a volume one from Primark as well it's in a blue bottle um really good dry shampoo and only £1.45 so I always pick up one of them when I go to Primark I then went to Zara and I got this jumper which I just think is so beautiful so it's like kind of like turtleneck high neck situation a vest jumper it's got the little slits up the side I got a size medium it was 25.99 there is the details I just think this looks really classy and chic um and with like some navy tailored trousers or some cream tailored trousers I just think it's absolutely gorgeous I've got one very similar to this in like a maroon color which I got from Zara two years ago although it's a little bit thicker but I get so much wear out of that one so I thought navy was a good colour to pick up and obviously I love my blues and navies at the minute. I also got this hair clip which I've got in currently from Primark which is good because it's a big one and then finally from Zara I got this hat. I just thought she was cute. I love a hat in the winter. She's got a gorgeous little fur trim. To be honest I just couldn't resist. I've got size medium. It comes in small and medium. I didn't actually know that, I just picked up whatever was on the shelf and it fits fine. Um, and it was £22.99. I won't try it on because my hair will just not cooperate. But with your hair down and curly and some cute like knitwear, I feel like that'll be really gorgeous. So that's what I've picked up recently. Let me try... Let me try on outfits and we can decide what I'm going to wear today. Okay, so here is the blue Primark jumper on honestly it feels so nice it feels such lovely quality it's not itchy I do I do like this but I feel like I wanted to go for more of a dressy vibe today just because I'm taking myself on a nice little day day out and thought I'd make an effort but this is cute and this is it with the bag I actually really need some not blue trainers necessarily but some like just white trainers because all my trainers are like either like colourful or like more runner style. I need a dressy trainer. I might have a look today actually. That is cute with the with the blue. I think I'm gonna go for the blazer. Let me pop the blazer back on. Okay, so I've just chucked on this black, it's kind of like a longer short sleeve knit top. Can you see it's like a rib stretchy knit? This is from Pretty Lavish last year maybe the year before hopefully you've still got something similar um i've realized that a lot of my winter wardrobe is stuff that i've had for like quite a few years because i keep i always get like good basics and just keep them that's such a lovely um shaped top i forgot how much i like that um so that with the blazer which i'll quickly iron before i go oh yeah that's cute do we like I mean, I hope you do because it's too late. By the time I've uploaded this, I already wore it. And I do really like this blazer done up because I think the shape of it makes it look really expensive. It wasn't um, it wasn't super expensive actually. You know, sometimes Zara blazers, you get like the odd one that's like extortionate. It wasn't. I think this was literally like sixty quid or something. Bring it back, Zara. Um, what shoes? What shoes should I wear? Part of me wants to do an Ugg. Doesn't go, does it? Does it? No. Mm, I don't hate it, but no. Um, I do want to do a trainer. See, this is what 
what I mean. I don't have a dressy trainer. Do I do a dunk? Oh. Very sorry about that. That could be quite cool. And I could take a red bag. Let's see. I could do red dunk. That. That's kind of cool. That's the same as red bag. This is where I keep on. This is where I keep on my bags. What about? Is that cute? Is that cool or not? I don't know. There's something I don't like about it. Uh, what about with the blazer open? Does it look a bit? like now what is it do you know what I think I'm gonna have to do a heeled boot but they're only a little heel I actually am not the biggest fan of these I have very similar look at them out I have very similar in the cream but the cream is just a little bit of a bigger heel this I feel like cuts me off but with the jeans it might be okay. Let me try them on with some socks. Also, this shelf isn't given. It's not given aesthetic, nice wardrobe vibes, but I needed to fit all my shoes in some way or another. Let me get some socks. There's something about wearing like a little Nike trainer sock underneath dressy outfits that just makes me laugh like when I wear my knee high boots for like a night out with like a, a little dress or something and then I take my boots off and I've got some big fat Nike socks it's just just really sums up me really um right let's try these on I mean they're so comfortable so it's not even about like the fact it's a heeled boot I just I don't know. Um, let's put both on and see how they look. But then what bag am I going to take? Um, hmm. What do you think, Callie Jane? Right. Is it the top? Oh my God, this is chaotic. What's going on? This was supposed to be a quick little outfit of the day. This is chaos. Right. I absolutely hate it. No. Alright, well, this is great. Now I don't know what to wear. Be right back. I've done an absolute 360. And I've ended up wearing the Zara, the new Zara jumper, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I love her with some ASOS pinstripe trousers, but I need to get them taken up so they've had to be rolled up. And then my new um, an AKD trench with my Goyard. It's very blue. Oh, here's my DHL, I nearly said DPD. My DHL delivery. I ordered something really exciting. I know you're happy with the outfit as well. Um, so this is my outfit of the day. I don't know what shoes I'm wearing. I'll deal with it at some point. Maybe just a chunky trainer because you can't actually see because these are wide leg. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that that parcel's arrived because I wanted to take it in with me. Right, Kelly, get off of my trench, please. Um, but I'm now running extremely late, so catch up with you all when I get to town. Okay, it turns out I do have time because I actually have half an hour extra to what I thought but I thought I'd just show you what I ordered last night from um matches matches fashion which I've never ordered from before um I just typed in what I wanted and it came up as the top ones so I was like great so I picked up this Tom Ford velvet bralette because I have an outfit in mind that I want to wear so it's like a velvet bralette with the Tom Ford details here i thought this would be actually quite a good piece to invest in because 
in the summer with shirts over the top, denim shorts, um, and then in the winter with like a blazer where you can kind of see it coming through. That's the vibe I'm going for for the outfit, I'm thinking. And then I also got these high-waisted like underwear brief situations because I thought I can wear them together and then I want to get a pair of like low-rise tailored trousers and then you can see the band coming out the top. So I'll wear them with this and then a blazer, so like a suit, basically like a black suit, but then with the little details of the Tom Ford. That's the outfit in my head. So I ordered these two. I actually ordered these last night at like 5 p.m. and they've arrived this morning before one o'clock. So that's pretty good for matches fashion. I'll leave them both linked down below. Um, but yeah, hopefully the outfit comes together. I'm actually going to take these with me shopping today so that if I find any trousers I can pop them on and check that the fit looks how I want them to with these. Um, I won't bother taking that because I'm sure that'll be fine. It looks like it'll fit well. But I just thought the velvet was a nice little a nice little different detail. It also comes in just plain black and a few other colours as well. But yeah, that's what I picked up from Matches. Fresh blow dry at the ready. Look at those curls. It's just so nice having someone else wash your hair and like not have to style it yourself because honestly, like it's one of those things I actually don't enjoy doing my hair, hence why I wear it in a sleek bun all the time. But very happy with that. I also picked up a new bronzer, so I got MAC Dark Tan. I used to wear MAC Give Me Sun all the time. Um, and then it ran out and then recently I've been using Benefit Caramel Hula but it's just not doing it for me I feel like I needed a new powder one the colour was quite cool and I felt like it was washing me out um, so I got that and I also smelt some perfumes from Killian which she sprayed a gorgeous one on me and then the lovely lady there actually gave me a few samples as well so she gave me a sample for hmm does it say? Don't be shy, which I think is the one that Rihanna wears. I think that's rumour on the streets. She gave me a sample for that, and then she gave me another sample as well of another one, which was really, really nice, which I've got on my wrist, which is gorgeous. So that was that was fun. Um, I had my blow dry. I had a mooch around the shops. I actually did see a few pairs of trainers, which I really liked. Um, but I just couldn't be bothered to try them on, if I'm honest. It's literally dark outside, and it's four o'clock, so... I'm going to head home. Um, I also didn't try on any trousers again because I just couldn't be bothered. I did see some really nice ones from Anine Bing. Um, but I don't really want to spend Anine Bing prices on like some black tailored trousers when I feel like I'd be able to find them on ASOS or Zara. So I might go to the Metro Santa one day. I mean, I'm in no rush for these trousers, so I can just go like next week or something. Um to try some black tailored trousers on um but yeah i'm gonna head home now it feels like this weather like the fact that it goes dark so early makes me feel like it's like late but it's actually four o'clock like i was gonna say like get the house cozy like it's four o'clock dion it's not bedtime um but yeah happy with my with my blow dry Attracted to your child, boy. 
the summer when we kiss beginning of our secret love Baby, you got me going all around you I can't resist myself cause I just need you Fall into my knees I don't need much, baby I just need you right here next to me Hello guys, happy Saturday I am just out on our lovely Saturday walk, just checking where the dogs are. It is very muddy and very wet. And these two are making sure that they go in every single puddle possible, of course. Got my dog mom walking boots on though, so that is great. These are from Hunter. I've actually had a few questions about them, which is hilarious because I mean, they're not exactly a fashion statement, are they? But they're very good dog walking boots if you're looking for some new ones. The Jordan actually went to London this morning. He's away tonight for a night. Um, and although I'm really missing him, I actually had such a productive morning. Like I feel like when I'm home alone on a weekend, I can get so much done. Like I got so much stuff I've been putting off recently done, like laundry and sorting through clothes and stuff. So I did all that this morning, which was great. Got the house all tidy. Getting the dogs out now, we're going to go and do a food shop for the week, which again is good because usually I do that on a Sunday. And then tonight I'm going out for food for one of my friends, so that will be lovely. We're going to Atish, which I've took you guys on a vlog before in the past. Um, it's a Turkish restaurant in Pontyland, which is really nice. Gorgeous food, gorgeous vibes, so I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, just checking in this morning on my walk. We actually ended up going last night into Newcastle because, um, come on, out of there, please. Because Jordan was going away, we decided last minute to head into Newcastle. We didn't go for food or anything, just a few drinks at basically like a Christmassy market thing. It's not a Christmas market, but it's like, you know, the outdoor, cute like outdoor Christmassy bars where there's Christmas trees and fires on and a live singer. It was really gorgeous gorgeous vibes all round really um so we went there last night weren't out too late got back at like 9 30. i actually had a mcdonald's when we got back because i hadn't had any tea and i didn't fancy going out for like a proper meal so i had a cheeseburger and some nuggets and we went to bed um but yeah that is me for a nice long walk now i'm wanting to take the dogs on a nice long one because they've been hyper this morning i feel like they had a lot of energy to burn so a nice long walk maybe like a six seven k by the time we get home which will make them absolutely exhausted for the rest of the day but yeah i'll catch up with you all once this walk's done and we are back home There is honestly nothing that I love more than getting ready in this dressing room. Like, every time that I'm getting ready for something in this dressing room, I just feel so grateful. Like, I literally dreamt of dressing rooms like this. Like, I used to think, I used to look on Pinterest and be like, one day I'll have a dressing room like that. And every time I get ready in here and I sit at my little station here, I just feel so lucky and grateful like i just love it so much it brings me so much happiness getting ready in here just girly things you know just love it um but i'm back from walking the dogs i have done a food shop i look a bit disheveled right now i'm having a cup of tea it's dark outside but it's only four o'clock so i feel like i say that in every video but you know it still shocks me to this day that it's pitch black outside pretty much um but i'm not going out until like half seven ish so i'm gonna have a shower now put my hair in rollers and then i've got a bit of work to do on my laptop um and then by that time i'll do my makeup and then we will be ready to go so yeah put my hair in rollers i obviously had a blow dry yesterday but i mean this is what happens when you walk the dogs in the rain 
and it gets stuffed up in a bun the majority of the time. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Uh, but I'm just gonna dice in it and try rollers, a different method, which I saw on TikTok. So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice hot shower and then have a little, have a little pamper and um, do my hair. If you watched the vlog where we went to Costco, these lighters that we got have actually came in so handy, can I just say, because I've now got one pretty much everywhere where I would need it, instead of having to constantly be running around looking for a lighter. So that is brilliant. Candle lit, Dyson at the ready, rollers at the ready, and let's sort this hair out. <laughs> Shouting in my drop top, drop top. Yeah, we sticking like a high spot. High spot. And she really wanna ride right away. Okay, rollers are in. Ignore the mismatch in size. I've basically got a set of yellow ones from Harrods Beauty and a set of pink ones from Primark. Um, but not enough for it to be like identical, so I have to like I've always prioritise like this bit being the same, although they're definitely not the same. Um, and then kind of just do whatever. And I think when it's all out and brushed through, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, ignore that. I've used my Tatcha Dewy Serum on my skin, which gives you such a nice glow, especially like I've noticed with the weather change that my skin is really dry around my chin, which I've never really had before. Um, so I'm making sure to use that. I've actually been using it morning and night. And then before makeup, I do love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. This is such a nice base for doing your makeup. So I'm just going to pop that on. Look at the glow that that gives your skin. Excuse how red my face is. I get so hot when I blow dry my hair. Like, my face goes so red because of the heat from the Dyson. So ignore that. Um, but I'm going to go and feed the dogs quickly and then pop you on a time lapse and do my makeup. If you want me to do a more in-depth makeup tutorial, let me know. It's not too different to like my everyday makeup, to be honest. I just do a little bit more bronzer, a little bit more on the eyes. That's pretty much it. I still just wear Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, no foundation and a concealer cream bronzer but let me know if you want a more in-depth Okay, makeup is done. I had to stop recording because my camera died. Um, I've got an outfit on, I'll show you in a second. I'm unsure. I'm unsure about it. Um, but I've got these earrings from Norton Kisses, 
which I think will go really, I've hit myself in the face, which I think will go really nice with the off the shoulder vibes that we've got going on here. Bit of a statement earring, if I can get it in. Yeah, I do really like these. I just love a statement earring. I think it's such a nice way of like dressing up an outfit. I think I can't tell if I like it or not because my hair is obviously in rollers. Like, it's like when you try on an outfit when you've got no hair or makeup and you just can't vibe with it. Let me show you what I've got on. Okay, can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Do you need to move you a bit more down? Can you see? So I've got this off the shoulder jumper from H&M. My little Zara skirt, which I literally wear all the time. It's my favorite thing ever. It's just so comfortable to wear. Some black tights and my H&M below the knee boots. But I just don't know if I like the tights. Like, do I look a bit, a bit gothic? Do you know what I mean? I'd probably take my Givenchy bag. Then that really is all black, or maybe I'd do like a pop pop of colour with the bag. Hmm. Or maybe I'd take tights off. I think I might try with tights off and see. See how it looks. Let me take my tights off and we'll reconvene. Okay, yeah, no tights is a hundred percent there. I feel like it was just too much, too much black with the tights. So I think we'll do a leg. I mean, I don't love it. I don't know. Okay, it'll do. I can't be bothered to try and find something else. So it'll do. Not my favourite outfit I've put together. But you know, it'll do for, for a last minute Saturday night. I'm going to take my rollers out now. Which is always scary because has it gone well? Has it not? Can you see Callie trying to get my hairbrush? Oh, what is that? There's fluff in my hair, brilliant, thank you. Okay. Oh, she's flicky. She's flicky ricky. Excuse me, I don't think so, thank you very much. Oh, these have actually turned out really well. Well, no, Dion, you don't know that yet. You've literally took two out, so let's not jinx it. Okay, that's actually, hi girl. Okay, that's actually gone pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. Let's do this side. Oh, that was a painful one. That was a painful one. was a bit of a fail. I've got a random clip at the back of my hair. I also don't know if it's just oh. I don't know if it's just the light, but this camera is making me look really pale. That front bit's gone a lot better than that front bit. Why hasn't this front bit worked? Maybe I need to recurl that front bit. Alright, I'm pretty happy actually. 
with how that's turned out. Do you know what I need to get some texturising spray because that's what the girl who did my blow dry used and it made such a difference because I've got quite heavy hair. It can just look very flat. So I feel like putting texturising spray really helps. Oh, no thank you. No, 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 no. Don't eat mummy's tights. Okay, I am ready to go. I am leaving in like two minutes. So I'm gonna leave the vlog camera at home. If I get any clips, I'll get some on my phone. But I'm off for a gorgeous little girly date.